Hi guys, what's going on? I'm doing very quick reviews uh, of some fragrance because I'm doing five videos today. One video was 20 minutes long, so my voice has a little bit less energy, but I can, I hope you can still hear me. So I have like three uh, sample reviews, all three are niche, uh, upper class niche fragrances. Part of this one right here is indie. Okay, I always get confused. Uh, if you know the House of Imaginary Authors, I did review many, uh, thanks to my brothers. Uh, thanks to all my brothers who lent me their bottles, they gave me their sample set and very big thanks to Fragrance BD who gifted me this sample. Uh, this perfume I really, really, really wanted to try. And Papa Pantobai, who is owner, he I think understood and Tanzi Shubhubai. They sent me Bull's Blood, okay? And the name is so <laughs> intriguing, you know, like not intriguing, it's like the name is so challenging. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's intimidating, you know, like you think of Bull's Blood and recently we had the Eid, you know, like second Eid, lot of blood and you know, like animal sacrifice. So when you smell everywhere for at least a week or so, blood everywhere, the smell of uh, bleaching powder, you know, like iron smell everywhere. And it's a very sickening feeling. It's not a positive feeling. So when you think of something like Tyrone, like from uh, one of the houses, where's the house called? <laughs> I always forget. Tyrone is got this red juice. I thought that would be like a bloody smell, but this one right here, I want to I wanna give props to the owner of this house, you know, Josh Mayer. Um, he made some fragrances. I, I'm not going to say I loved every single fragrance of his the same, okay? I admired most of his fragrances. I gave props to originality. Uh, the most imagined authors, like his imagination, it's like art. How do you convert that thought that you have? Okay, you had imagination and you want to convert it to something in real world, mixing some chemicals or uh, like molecules or what is that, whatever you want to say, like ingredients and you just make a perfume that smells like what you imagine. You know, it's not easy. So I really felt this house and also Mason Martin Margia, they go for the similar beach walk or uh, whispers in library or something like they have these few names, you know, um, by the fireplace, you know, jazz club. This house, I think they do the same sort of theme. And this house and Francesca Bianchi, these two houses, I'm like, you know, they're the quality, what they do. I have one Francesca Bianchi fragrance that is gonna be amazing as well. If I found Josh Mayer, I would give him a hug, okay? Uh, even <laughs> after Corona. But I think he knows my reviews and he commented and he told uh, Fragrance BD that, you know, uh, he watches my work. This one, I'm not gonna put again. I put once and I realize what this one is. This is actually very close to what the name promises. It delivers. You do get that smell of that excitement, you know, like perhaps in the Spain, you have bullfight, right? Or those, what do you call that, cowboys? They have that, you know, they're like, you know, trying to fight. What was that sport called? Anyway, they're, I think they're banning this everywhere, but if you know bulls, like, you know, then that dude, what is, what is that dude called with the hat? And, you know, he's wearing this, you guys know, I forgot, I'm sorry, should have taken note. This one smells like that sort of atmosphere. When I sprayed it, it uses some animalic notes, and I think it uses rose, it uses some sort of pepper, and it does smell like the iron in blood, okay? It's very, I won't say bloody, but at the same time, it has patchouli, I think. So all these notes, it combines to be a very dense, um, think of like a war field, a lot of bloodshed and a lot of wounds. And you think like, why would I do that? You know, you wouldn't do, you do, you don't want to do it. This is a very daring perfume for me even. Uh, this is not of the sweet rose, you know, like syrupy rose. Oh, Nero Leon. You spray this and be like, okay, I can't run away from this because this is my arm. I cannot chop it off. <laughs> you see what I mean? But I'm not trying to say this is bad or anything. This is for people who like to take uh, life like challenges you know they want to jump over the bridge bungee jumping or they are very uh, adventurous this is for the brave souls okay i would say if you can wear this you kudos to you more power to you i would love to review this i love to wear this in winter but summertime that one time i sprayed this i'm not gonna spray this again it's massive longevity it's a beast it's a long lasting beast and the name and the bottle kudos ten for that creativity originality and the name you know i really wish the juice was red that would be awesome <laughs> i'm getting goosebumps you know so yeah the rose in there it's if you really think of it actually if you do not think of the name and you try to smell the perfume itself if you didn't know about the name you'd be like oh that's a nice rose scent it's like azaro Actior has this sort of 
boozy rose. It reminds me a little bit of that kind of rose, old school classic kind of rose. It's not a very modern rose. It's not like wood satin mood rose. You see, you get the idea. It's not a sweet modern variant. This is for people who are uh, smoking cigars, bit rough and tough guys. You know, you spray this on and you are like working in a, like let's say not farm, but if you have a lot of animals that you own, I'm not gonna say slaughterhouse, it's gonna be disturbing, but this perfume is basically for people who don't care for compliments, okay? They are not gonna be wearing this for compliments, and if you can wear this with confidence, it definitely can get you respect. People will be like, wow, whatever he's wearing, it's something uh, I perhaps uh, will not wear myself, but I can ad admire a guy for wearing this. In the cold weather, this is gonna be so beautiful. I can tell you the rose note will pop up just right. It's gonna be gothic rose, it's gonna be like a potpourri kind of rose, and that name combined with the imagination and the performance, everything, this is a masterclass perfume, okay? For those who like to take uh, challenges, I challenge you to try this one, okay? This is a 10 for that, okay? Daring and adventurous, gutsy perfume. If you really ask me, this is a definitely not a blind by worthy. You should definitely get a sample and see how it works. But I have massive love. He delivered what he promised, okay? This is a lovely little creation. Try it out. I'll keep this sample. If it survives until the next winter, I'll just let you know my thoughts, okay, when I wear it, okay? Thank you so much, Fragrance BD. Overall, 10 for me for the quality in this, but this is a try, not a must buy. More like for you, it's going to be like a 7 out of 10 for you because if you are a Savage sprayer, this is not your juice, okay? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thanks, Josh Man. Thanks, Fragrance BD, for, uh, you know, all that you do. God bless you, okay? See you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll move on to the next review. Bye-bye.